two alligators are moving to a new neighborhood by the beach. And each alligator needed to build a house. The first alligator knew that he needed to find a firm foundation. He picked a spot on a big rock. The second alligator picked a nice spot on the sand. Rocks are too hard, he thought. It's much softer in the sand. I will be nice and comfortable here. The first alligator started working on his foundation. After a while, his foundation was built on the rock. The second alligator built his foundation much faster. It was easy because the sand was very soft. Now it was time for framing. The first alligator attached all the boards to his foundation. The second alligator framed his house too. It was all done and ready for the next step. Next, it was time for the walls and the roof. The first alligator worked all day, and soon he was done. The second alligator also worked hard all day. And soon he was done too. Next, it was time to add the windows and the doors. The first alligator worked on his windows and then finished his door. The second alligator built a window and then a door and then another window. Now it was time to move in. The first alligator moved into his new house, and he loved it. It was just right. The second alligator also moved into his new house. Everything was perfect. But next day, something happened. It started to rain a lot. The first alligator sat by the window to watch the storm. He liked the rain. The second alligator sat by the window to watch the storm too. He also liked the rain. The day after that was a very windy day. The first alligator sat by the window to listen to the wind. He liked the sound of the wind. The second alligator sat by the window too. He also liked to listen to the wind. The next day, there were some really big waves at the beach. The waves were so big that they reached all the way up to the houses. The first alligator sat by the window to watch the waves. The second alligator sat by the window too. By now, the second alligator noticed that something was wrong. His house was sinking. All of his hard work was ruined. One of the first things a builder has to do when they build a house is to make sure it has a good foundation. 
A good foundation is one that won't move. It has to be strong and firm. The house can last for a long time, and the house will be stronger, especially when the wind and the storms come. In the scriptures, a rock is a symbol for Jesus Christ. That's because he is a firm foundation for us. If we build our life on Jesus Christ, we will be able to stand through the wind and the rain and the storms of life. Remember, remember that it is upon the rock of our Redeemer, who is Christ, the Son of God, that ye must build your foundation. Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. WaterMadeKids.com